We have a wonderful insect story to share with you today, the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly in North America has two major populations, a western population west of the Continental Divide and the eastern population east of the Continental Divide. The eastern population overwinters in Mexico, spends most of the rest of the year in the United States and Canada. But I want to emphasize the western population. In the western states, in the summer months, the monarch hangs out in the mountains and meadows and valleys of the states of Idaho, western Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and the mountains of eastern California. As summer goes into fall, the western monarch population heads towards the coast. They end up in overwintering sites from northern Baja to just north of San Francisco. Usually their clusters are no further inland than maybe a mile from the coast. They need the fog and the coolness to survive the winter. So when the western populations begin to come into San Diego area, Los Angeles area, Santa Barbara, San Francisco, they are looking for tall trees. The eucalyptus groves are popular. Some hang out in the Torrey Pines in the south and redwoods and Monterey Pines in the north. While they're on the coast, no reproduction. That takes up too much energy. They metabolically slow. They only survive on moisture and body fat. They're waiting for the spring so they can go inland again and find milkweed plants that are coming up. Milkweed is the only plant they lay their eggs on because the caterpillars eat milkweed only. The life cycle of the monarch is typical of most insects. Lays an egg, in this case on milkweed only. Within about a week, uh, the egg hatches. Little caterpillar emerges. Within two weeks, the caterpillar has gone from barely visible to several inches long. It then pupates, creates a chrysalis for a couple of weeks. This then emerges into the adult butterfly, which has a lifespan of maybe six weeks, except for that last population that's destined to head for the coast and hang out for maybe five months before heading inland again. The male monarchs are easy to identify from the females because their little pheromone pouches on the hind wings are two black dots that are easy to see and the female lacks those pouches. The male monarch has uh, claspers on the end of his abdomen. He will locate a female, grab her, take her to the ground. She's usually reluctant. Uh, the perfume or the pheromone pouches usually slow her down so she's cooperative. They will mate for eight, nine, ten hours and then rest a bit, repeat the process with other partners uh, the next couple days or so. The mating occurs only in the spring and summer. No reproduction occurs in the wintertime on the California coast. The monarch butterfly, Danaeus plexippus, on the California coast.